Hello everyone! Welcome to another video on practice test for civil service exam. For today, we will cover math. Gagabayan ko kayo sa pagsagot ng mga math problems. Nakuha ko ito from an online mock test. And part 2 na ito ng ating videos covering that mock test. Isa-isahin nating sagutan ang mga problems. But before anything else, don't forget to like and subscribe. We have here our first problem. 50% of one half is half of what number? A. One fourth, B. One third, C. One half, or D. One. Ang problem na ito ay both a percent and a fraction problem. Para ma-review ang inyong knowledge, naglagay ako ng link sa description box para sa videos about percent and fraction. Para ma-solve ang problem na ito, we have to convert first our 50% into a fraction. Remember, percent means per 100. So for this case, yung 50 natin is i-over natin siya ng 100. And we have to reduce this to its lowest term so magiging 1 half siya or 1 over 2. Ngayon na na-convert na natin ang ating percent to a fraction, i-layout na natin ang ating equation. We have here 1 half which is 50%. I-multiply natin by 1 half which is given na rin sa equation. Whenever nakaka-encounter tayo ng problems na ang pagka-state is percent of, yung operation na gagawin natin would be multiplication. So for this, we have basic operation ng fraction. We have 1 times 1 is 1 and 2 times 2 is 4. So 50% of 1 half is 1 fourth. Ngayon, para mahanap natin ang value ng number, i-assign natin siya sa x. Sabi sa problem, half of what number? So, yung magiging equation natin would be 1 half of x is equal to 1 fourth. Ang 1 fourth is from our previous na sinol, which is the 50% of 1 half. And to solve this, yung magiging equation na would be x is equal to 1 fourth times 2 over 1. Kasi nga, if i-divide natin siya, yung magsiswitch ang denominator at numerator. So, x is equal to 2 over 4 and we have to reduce it to its lowest term so magiging 1 half siya. So, 50% of 1 half is half of 1 half. So, ang sagot natin dito ay 1 half which is letter C. So we have here our second problem. Louis is 26 years old. Her daughter is 4 years old. In how many years will Louis be double her daughter's age? A. 18 B. 20 C. 16 D. 22 So this right here is an age problem which is very common during the civil service exam. Kaya it is very important na alamin natin kung paano isolve ang different kinds of age problem. So for this, we have to state Lewis's age, which is 26. And we have her daughter's age, which is 4. And na state din sa problem na yung hinahanap natin is ang number of years kung saan madodoble ang age ni Louis sa kanyang daughter. So, x will be the number of years. So, yung magiging equation natin for this problem would be 26, which is Louis's age, plus x which is the number of years kung saan madodoble ang age ni Louis sa kanyang daughter equals 4 which is her daughter's age plus x 
x which is yung number of years kung saan madadoble ang age ni Louis sa kanyang daughter. However, we have to remember din na sa problem na state ang word na double. Kaya, we have to consider this one then. So, yung magiging equation natin would be 26 plus x is equals to 2 open and close parenthesis 4 plus x so we have to group similar terms so for this case basic operation so 2 times 4 equals 8 then magiging 2x siya and to group similar terms naging x minus 2x and then x minus 26 so magiging negative x is equal to negative 18. Multiply, since negative naman siya both sides, i-multiply lang natin siya with the negative 1. So, magiging x is equal to 18 siya. So, in 18 years, yung age ni Louis would be double her daughter's age. Again, ang answer natin for that problem is A, 18. For our third problem, four consecutive integers have a mean of 32.5. What is the largest among these integers? A, 32. B, 34. C, 31. D, 33. Quick recap, an integer is a number with no decimal or fractional part and includes a negative or a positive number, including zero. Since na state sa problem na 32.5 yung mean ng four consecutive integers, hanapin natin ang sum ng mga integers. So for this, we have 32.5 times 4 equals 130. 130 yung sum ng 4 consecutive integers. Since given naman yung mean or yung average, importante yung hanapin natin yung kanilang sum to determine ano yung mga 4 consecutive integers. So yung equation natin would be x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 plus x plus 3 is equal to 130. So, that would be magiging 4x plus 6. So, bucket 6, that would be from 3 plus 2 plus 1. Kasi nga consecutive integers la. So, magiging 4x plus 6 is equal to 130. Then, we have to group similar terms. Magiging 4x is equal to 130 minus 6 and 4x is equal to 124 and we have to divide both sides by 4 para makita yung x so magiging x is equal to 31 so for this case x natin is 31 kaso yung hinahanap naman natin is the largest among the integers meaning largest sa lahat ng numbers so, magiging x plus 3 siya. So, for this case, magiging x plus 3 or 31 plus 3 is equal to 34. So, ang answer natin for this is 34. 34 is the largest among those four consecutive integers. And 34 is letter B. For our fourth problem, if A plus B plus C is 29 and C over B is 4 and A minus C plus B is 5, what is the value of X, Y, and Z? A 13, B 5, C 3.6, D no value. Ang mga klaseng problems na ito ay medyo magulo 
and most of the time tricky. So for this, yung magiging sagot natin is no value. Bakit? Bakit no value yung sagot? Kasi di ba hinahanap X, Y, and Z? Pero yung given naman is A, B, and C. So there's no way for us to determine ano yung magiging value ng X, Y, and Z. Kasi yung given naman is A, B, and C. So again, there's no way of determining the value of X, Y, and Z. And so, magiging answer natin would be D, no value. For our fifth problem, we have half of a number subtracted from 6 is twice the sum of its opposite number and 18. What is the number? A, 20. B, 60. C, 40. D, 55. Most of the time, itong klaseng mga problems na ito ay nakaka-intimidate. So, it is important na to solve this, isa-isahin natin yung mga given. So, we have here x yung magiging number natin na hahanapin. And sabi sa problem, half of a number is subtracted from 6. So, 1 half x or half of a number subtracted from 6 would be 6 minus 1 half x is equal to twice the sum of its opposite number and 18. So, yung opposite dito, magre-represent siya as negative x then plus 18 kasi nga sum siya ng opposite number and 18. So, equation natin would be 6 minus 1 half x is equal to 2 or negative 2x plus 36. Then, you have to group similar terms. Negative 1 half x plus x equals 36 minus x. And, para ma-add natin ang isang fraction at isang whole number, we have to do this. Remember, atong yung ating basic operations of a fraction. So, that would be your least common denominator would be 2. So, that would be negative 1 plus 4 over 2. And that would be 3 over 2. So, in this case, magiging 3 over 2 x na siya equals 30. And then, we have to divide both sides with 3 over 2 or 3 and a half para makita ang ating x. So, for this case, magiging 30 over 1 divided by 3 over 2. And basic operations ng ating fraction, need natin siyang i-multiply. And to do that, we have to switch the denominator and the numerator. So, that would be 30 over 1 times 2 over 3 equals 60 over 3, which is equal to 20. So, yung x natin dito is equal to 20. So, in this case, yung number natin is 20, which is letter A. That is it everyone. I hope nagabayan ko kayo sa pag-solve ng mga math problems. Ilalagay ko sa description box below yung link sa part 1 ng online mock test and at the same time yung mga videos about percent and fractions. So don't forget to practice because practice makes progress. Again, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.